Die Renaissance, die Middle Ages, come to an end. Art, culture, and religion were alive during the Middle Ages. But life was hard. The common people worked from sunrise to sunset just to feed their families. They had little time to read or sculpt or paint. Only the wealthy could indulge in those pursuits. But as the nobles lost some of their power to the rising middle class, more people began to explore art and science. Their interests led to a new period in the history called the Renaissance. The Renaissance began in northern Italy in the 15th century. The city of Florence, under the leadership of the powerful De Medicini family, promoted advances in the arts and sciences. During the previous century, Florence had suffered under the reign of Pope Gregory XI, but the De Medicini family began putting money back into the city, supporting artists and musicians and inventors. They gave the city a new life that spread to all of Europe. During the Renaissance, people began to read classic Greek book books again. Ancient sculptures and paintings were discovered in the ruins of old cities. Painters and poets began exploring humanity and nature in their art. Leonardo da Vinci, 1452-1519, painted the Mona Lisa, shaped beautiful sculptures, designed buildings, and even made detailed plans for a flying machine. Johannes Gutenberg invented the printing press, printing the famous Gutenberg Bible in 1453. Explorers like Christopher Columbus, 1451 to 1506, and Bartholomew Diaz, who died in 1500, discovered parts of the globe Europe had never known. Education was no longer limited to the cathedral schools or monasteries. Universities were founded all over Europe, teaching medicine and law, a movement called the New Learning encouraged women to learn Latin and Greek, and more women began to write books. Many traditional doctrines of the church were questioned. People everywhere called for the church to reform its practices and teachings, although they did not agree on how it should be done. The Renaissance would soon open the door for a German monk named Martin Luther, 1483-1546, to, to lead the world into the era of the Protestant Reformation.